guys and welcome back to another video with DIYs by Carolina. I hope you guys are doing wonderful and having a phenomenal fall day. You heard me guys, today is officially the first day of fall. Your girl is super excited. I am absolutely loving these temperatures. Fall is literally my favorite time of the year. Fall and spring. Fall, oh my gosh, I absolutely love fall. Guys, I am just super excited. So, yay, so hello fall, hello autumn, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I got on my little cute little fall gear. Look at that, I got on my little cute little shirt. Got on my little earrings with the pumpkins. Y'all, I am ready for fall, you hear me? Yes, I am. Don't get me wrong, I love summer. Summer was nice, but honey, when I tell you we have some record temperatures in South Carolina with this heat, I'm glad summer is out of here. I mean, I love you guys. I love you, Summer, but uh, you had to go, okay? So anyway, you guys, um, you already saw the title of this video, y'all. I had to do a redo with the door. I'm sorry, I had to do a redo. I'm, I was on the level like, okay, you know what? The front door... It was taking the whole fall vibe completely out of me. I mean, it was to the point where when I would pull up, you know, in the driveway from work or wherever I came from and saw the door, y'all, I just got disheartened. And I was just like, gosh, I, this just really, really does not excite me. So I had to do something different with the front door, y'all. I just couldn't bring in fall like, like that. I just couldn't do it. So yeah, y'all, I, I I redid it, okay? The video that I was meaning to post and the project I was meaning to undertake, I had to put it on the back burner. I had to put it on hold because I had to redo my front door. I mean, come on guys, the front of your house should be spectacular, right? Okay, and that door was just taking away from all of my fall vibes, so yeah. I had to do a redo but yeah i could not bring in fall with that door looking the way it did so without further ado you guys let's get into this video but before i do that if you are new to this channel welcome to our family my name is carolina and it is such a great pleasure having you here and as always to my existing subscribers welcome back you guys you know i love you guys omg so let's get into this video and get into my fall vibes with everything I got going on in this project. Yay, super duper excited. So let's go. All right, you guys. So I just wanted to quickly show you, just as a reminder, what the door looked like after we did the staining on the door. So yeah, it can use a second coat, but I think yeah i think i'm past this now i'm i'm over it so i'm going to be painting the door a different color i'm also going to be changing out my light fixtures this here is just a little security camera so i'm going to be taking that down and then just adding my new light fixtures and i'll share with you guys what those light fixtures look like where they came from all of that information will be in the description but yeah um i'm actually going to just try to do a full makeover in this particular area. Um, I'm also considering painting the steps. So I'm actually thinking about painting the steps that same color that I have on the patio space in my backyard area, like that tan color. And if you guys can't tell, let me see if I can go back a little bit. My house is actually a really, really, really pale yellow color i mean it doesn't look like it it almost looks tan to be completely honest with you it just kind of depends on the lighting but it's actually a really really pale yellow color and i think that light color tan that i used on the patio makeover i think that would be perfect i think that would fit really really well with you know the whole design and the whole style and everything so that's what i'm going to be doing you guys so yeah you know the routine let's get to it 
Okay, you guys, so the first thing I have to do is get this door ready to be painted. So I'm going to go ahead and prep by sanding the door. And basically, I'm not trying to sand off all the stain. I'm just trying to rough it up a little bit so then that way, whenever I apply my paint and primer, it will have something to actually adhere to. primer that I'm going to be using to paint my door. This is by Valspar. Um, you can, you know, use the semi-gloss finish or the high gloss finish for your front door. Um, they typically do recommend that or they do recommend the satin and I'm choosing the satin because I really don't want a high gloss. So I'm using this. This is exterior paint and primer and as you guys can see um, it gives maximum protection against cracking, peeling, fading, all of that good stuff. So yeah this is where i'm uh this is what i'm going to be using i got this from lowe's and the color that i'm going to be using is actually tricorn black which is a color that i absolutely love um the inside of my door is actually painted tricorn so this is going to be just a little bit darker than the inside of the door so yeah let's get started <music> guys so as you can see i painted the paneling on the door using a brush so now i'm about to go in with a small roller for the remainder of the door nighttime again unfortunately but I wanted to show you guys you probably can't really tell but ah uh, this is the door with two coats of paint on it so it's not a glossy color it's not the sim semi gloss paint I have the satin finish because I really didn't want like a high gloss or anything so yeah so I'm really really liking the way this looks 
but of course I'll show you guys a daytime view tomorrow but I also wanted to show you what I'm about to do right now yeah y'all I'm not done so I taped off this area here on the little porch because what I'm planning to do is this side over here where you have the red brick so right here in this area, I'm going to paint it black, the color of the door. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then once that has dried, sorry you guys, once that has dried, I'm going to add another thin strip of like um, the beige color paint. And then I'm gonna do another strip of um, the black. It's gonna be like really small, probably about an inch or two. And then I'm gonna paint the remainder part, um, this really large area here, I'm gonna paint that the beige color. So it'll have like the black and beige stripe on the side, and then the full beige in the middle. So yeah, so tonight what I'm going to do is I wanna go ahead and just paint the brick side of it black and get that done so then that way tomorrow all i'll have to do is just add those little strips of the beige and then and then another little small strip of the black and then just paint this part here beige but the door for the most part is complete um the only other thing i need to do to the door is i'm going to actually change out the the doorknob i don't like this doorknob it feels really cheap you guys probably can't see that but yeah so I actually bought this doorknob from Lowe's and I really really wanted to get the um the doorknob that has like the little you know like the little number for the like the security or whatever so I managed to uh find one of those on Amazon I'll link that information as well but just wanted to you know Get, you know give you guys a quick update so I'm about to go ahead and paint this brick give this a nice coat and then I'll finish the rest of it up tomorrow and then also if I fail to mention and I think I did mention it that I was going to change out the light uh, fixtures as well so yeah super excited about that so let's go ahead and try to wrap that little part of it up tonight so we can go ahead and finish up everything tomorrow So you guys can see that I started using the roller and then I had to revert to the brush because you know just to kind of get in between all the little nooks and cranny in between the bricks um, I had to use the brush to do that but you know it was a little tedious at first or whatever but I got it done. so it is the next day and I want to show you guys my progress with the front door and also with painting the steps I'm not done yet with the steps um, I want to try to finish and wrap that up tonight if I can um, so you know we don't have that much daylight hours uh, left now the time is starting to change the daylight is a lot um, shorter so I want to try to do as much as I can um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at what everything looks like currently.
Okay, you guys, so here's a quick look at what everything looks like currently. So here's the area on the step. And I'm not finished with that yet, so I have to finish putting the design that I want here. And here's what the door is looking like. So it's starting to come along pretty nicely. All right, so I wanna to try to finish this up as much as I can tonight, if possible, while there's still a little bit of uh, daylight left. But I also, what I think I wanna do, um, before I start back with the painting, and excuse the traffic, you guys. <laughs> I want to change out my light fixtures first before I start with the painting. Then that way, at least, um, you know, I'll have that done and out of the way. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start on that right now. So I wanted to show you guys right quickly these cracks that I have on my porch in the cement. So this is basically where the concrete is separating from the, um, the bricks. But I'm going to actually patch this up. As a matter of fact, I've already started. And I should have actually done this before painting, but oh well. And so I've already started doing this side. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute what I did. Uh, but this is the product that I used, if I can turn it around. So it's basically the motor repair and it comes in a tube. And so I'm just basically just going along the places where the concrete is separating. And I'm gonna show you guys in a second what I did. you guys so this is basically how I applied this product I um, just spread it all over the cracked area and I used the spackle handler and I just went ahead and just uh, spread it all over the cracked areas now don't make the same mistake I did I went ahead and spread this the stuff around the entire thing I think you need to do a little bit at a time because it tends to dry pretty quickly which is why you see me keep going back and adding a little bit of water just to keep it moist so then that way I'm able to spread it but this worked really really well I should have done Done this before I started painting but like I said it's not a big deal I'll just paint over it once it dries I'll also link this product in the description as well just in case if you're interested in purchasing it okay you guys so I wanted to show you my progress so far so I am in the process of adding that concrete paint uh, the same color paint that I actually painted my patio area with and I'll be sure to link that um, paint color and information in the description but um, I'm just now applying the first coat and I'm really really loving the way this is looking um, I think it looks fantastic um, so a couple of things that I've already done so far let me stand back a little bit so as you know I painted the door and I also installed these beautiful outdoor light fixtures they look so modern i love these so much more than the ones i had before and then um yeah so i also changed out the doorknob so i have this really really nice security doorknob now with the touch pad and i'll be sure and link that in the description as well but just wanted to give you guys a quick update just kind of show you where i'm at in this whole process so i'm um, Getting to that point where I'm starting to wrap things up a little bit. Uh, once I add on the second coat and then add the sealant to this step area, uh, the only thing left to do then will be to go back and put my fall decorations back up. I, um, yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And um, in a later video, um, I will be, and I think I mentioned this already before in the video, I will be updating my shutters. Uh, and painting them black as well so i am excited about that and just to kind of give you guys a look at the entire space right now so that's what it's looking like at the moment so yeah super excited 
you guys so it is the next day um and i just wanted to show you guys my progress so far and keep in mind you guys uh these projects are being conducted when I get off from work. I don't get off until five o'clock. I don't get home until like 545. And so by the time I get out here and really start to do anything, it's probably almost six, 630. So um, these are projects that you could probably knock out in a weekend. Um, but I just wanna go ahead and try and get as much done as I could so I can post this video. So it's starting to look pretty cloudy right now, you guys. So I really, would, really, really want to try to hurry up and get this porch painted. Um, so then that way I can try and put my decorations back on um, or whatever. Yeah, it is literally about to storm. So let me try to hurry up and get this done, you guys. So here's a final look at the porch once it's been completely painted. I think it turned out wonderful. I absolutely love the way this looks. The black with the cream. And because my home is like a, like I said before, it's a pale yellow color. Um, it almost looks tan from a distance. But yeah, I think this really, really makes the whole front part of the house pop with this black and this tan. So yeah, I am really, really liking the way that looks. Definitely more welcoming. Just looks nice and classic. All right, you guys, so let's take a look at all the different transformations this front door undertook. So as you guys can recall, I removed the screen door because it was literally falling apart. And whenever we look at the front door itself, it had a lot of nicks, a lot of scratches, scuff marks. So it really, really just needed a true makeover job. And it went from that to the faux wood door. And you guys can recall the faux wood door was just, mm, it was a disaster in itself. <laughs> so let's take a look at what the final door looks like now.
this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, definitely give the video a huge thumbs up and drop one, drop one of those uh, leaf, those fall leaf emojis in the comments. Yes. And I actually will be coming back to you guys um, really, really soon because I still have to decorate my patio area. So all the different areas in my backyard has to be decorated for the fall, you guys. So I am looking forward to bringing that video to you guys. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye now.